Bullhorn Betty here. As many of you guys know, I'm in the process of to fully exposing the conduct of a PI named James Michael Terry. They came out and said that JLR's reporting that they're going to prove and he's going to put the whole full weight of his channel to take JLR out because JLR does not know what he's talking about. I call bullshit. I have here a private investigator. He pretty much solved the case with regards to Gloria Alvarado. JLR does not open his mouth without doing some research. So let's 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 discuss this. But if you think I'm going to stand by and allow you to scam your audience because you want to make money on your channel. Matthew Jed Hall intensifies. I spoke with a private investigator who's now shedding new light onto what happened right before he stole his family's car and disappeared in the middle of the night. These are not confirming. Hall's parents hired private investigator James Terry seven weeks ago after leads were left open. This jerk off that, that, that thinks he's a PI when he's got no credentialing whatsoever, nor any experience. And the interesting part of this is uh, the Hall family, Mr. Hall is a lawman. He's a veteran of the Idaho Falls Police Department, the police department that's looking for his son. So Mr. Hall, I thought would be extremely skeptical as any police officer would about hiring a knucklehead like me to look into this case after two years. His wife hired me, he gave his blessing and we started this thing a little over three and a half weeks ago. And what we've been able to uncover is incredible. Seems like you've got a lot of stuff that uh, wasn't out there prior. It seems kind of strange that all, you know, almost two years have gone by and- We will get into his con and that's what I'm gonna call it. Have you, before we get into Gloria, have you found any other kids or this is the first like that, that you found or you've assisted in other cases where it led to? This was the first child under the age of 18. Okay. Not nearly the first person or thing I found. You're getting all of this. So you're not going to be on these streets advocating that you're a PI when we know damn well you have no education, you have no experience, and you damn sure are a PI be exposed. How heartless can you be that you attack the parents of a missing boy? This to me is sick. Really is sick. My own being fired from his job and being able to take money away from these despicable people is perfectly fine with me. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We're not in your face, Jonathan. Let's just step back. Just step back. He's a convicted felon. This can't believe him. He's a convicted felon. I'm not losing any sleep over it. This was what I wanted to accomplish. It's accomplished. Um, they are now officially no job, no money. He's making malicious, unfounded, and incorrect statements. And he has verbally attacked the parents of this missing boy. What animal does that? What animal does that? Can you be that you attack the parents? Because you are all mean to Candace? Oh, I just got started. A piece of shit mom. She, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and cry, cry. Because like I said, even if she didn't do anything, which I, I, I know she did, I believe in yeah, my whole, whole heart she did. She is the reason why the child disappeared to begin with. She brought a bad element. She's already had children taken away from her in Wisconsin. And she's got these children. That woman should never breed another child again. They should go in there and rip her women stuff out by court order. That woman is a despicable, deplorable woman that should never, ever, ever have a child. Is that Candace and her mother are culpable in this disappearance and, and, and death of this child. Uh, James Michael Terry has basically run amok, has no ethical standards, no moral compass. Which house? The first house down right there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Summer, wh where's Summer, Don? We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Where's Summer, Don? So once he started digging in and causing all this extra animosity toward victims' parents, which are also victims because they're trying to find their son. No, no, we love Everywhere her. I go, they've been in my house every day. We love her. Everything I do, they're harassing me. We love her. Assault, you know, take it, believe it, I don't care. Um, you know, we did the investigation. We were out there the first day for 11 to 12 hours. Uh, you know, we took our, some of the evidence that we had found and we took it, you know, we spoke to the, the police department, you know, we don't want to, we have to, you know, this is an investigation of a five-year-old child and that we want to help find. We do not believe she's alive. We do not believe that she was abducted. Um, we do not believe that she was sold for sex trafficking. We don't. Um, but we want answers. Not a convicted felon. I have the ability to vote. I have the ability to carry a firearm. I don't know where that rumor is coming. Have I been arrested? I read it. I read it. And I will be calling to confirm this. 
you can have any business you wanted you want you're right about that you can have any business you want registered in mississippi and reside in another state you absolutely can but in order to, get... in order to conduct yourself as a mississippi pi you are required to have a resident or a brick and mortar business in order to conduct yourself in mississippi as a pi where's your business where's your resident in mississippi to conduct yourself as a pi i don't have a residence in mississippi i just told you that i do not have so a you cannot be using mississippi law Plus, Miss Betty, the, the state that what private investigators go through, just in case you guys want to vet this, and they're waiting. I have vetted it, and your, your, your shit's not holding water, so keep going. If you call the Department of Agriculture in the state of Florida, they look into private investigating in the state of Florida. So if you want, let's say you want to get me in trouble, I'm going to help your listeners out here, and you just you guys can cut to the chase, and we can. Where do you? Well, before we get to the wait, before we get to this, tell me where you live. What, what state do you reside? No. Where do if you reside? Like call, this state that you reside. Like why won't you answer my very simple help. question? Why won't you answer if my very? Would like to call the why are you not answering my very specific question? What Betty, state? What so state is your driver's license here. registered in? Thank what, you so much. What Betty, state for is your registered in? What I can state the is your license? Your, your your where do you reside? Are you residing in the state of Florida or the state of Mississippi? Where is your license? Where is your license? Why can't you answer that question? Is your driver's license registered in the state of Florida or in Mississippi? Then tell me where you're residing at. Where do you? Then why don't you just tell me where you reside at? State of Florida or Mississippi? State of Florida or Mississippi? State of Florida or Mississippi? Where do you reside in? State of Florida or Mississippi? You need a hobby, Betty. Where do you reside in? Gives you the right to conduct your business here in the state of Florida. And you're sitting here trying to convince us that you're in Mississippi when we all know your driver's license says the state of freaking Florida. You can scam other people, but don't call it call on this show and scam me. You're not the hell do you think you are? You're a con. And I'm going to prove it. About Summer Wells. And um, if you guys would like to contribute to this initiative, please do so. Um, as you can see, the rolling banner that has the Cash App and uh, Venmo information. Since then, Doug, with um, no thanks, you know, is calling, and, and James Terry, the PI, is calling Jonathan Lee Rich as a moron, uh, attacking him for looking into this guy. And that only made me dig a little deeper. And guess what I found? It is going to shock you. It is going to shock you. But I stand by that this man is nothing, not a PI, not a PI, not following the law, actually breaking the law by soliciting private investigative clients. And I, and I, I and people are, that's pretty strong language, isn't it? James Michael Terry, my name is Andra Griffin. I'm sure any great attorney can, can serve me with papers for the lawsuit if you choose to want to sue me because somehow I am not saying accurate information, right? Because I relish you to do that to Bullhorn Betty. I will have, I will dive so deep into this, it won't even be funny, but I already am. So you're kind of screwed as is. Not a legitimate PI, preying on families. And I'm not done with you yet, James Michael Terry Con PI. And our job's not done. Like we're going to call the state and we're going to confirm all this, right? We're going to call Mississippi. We're going to call the state of Florida. Contact you want a bitch. fucking crazy contest? Now, you fucking you got one. What man you are about with a woman. Huh? Oh, you go horn Betty? Yep. Yeah, that's, that's that balding bitch, ain't it? Propecia. I <laughs> thought you propecia. We actually dive into the paperwork that he proffered and produced to try to show that he is a PI. Vouchers. We ain't got no vouchers. We don't need no vouchers. He still didn't pass the mustard. Pass the mustard.